I got enjoying. When we're out of tape. <laughs> tape, take 54. This is Saturday, uh, 1st of June of 85. And this will be the 1055 <laughs> break, i.e. the second break on a Saturday morning. Five seconds. OK. Five, four, three. We heard from Eric Clapton, B.B. King, Marvin Gaye, and the clique finishing up our second set of videos here on a Saturday morning. You say that so nicely. You're very pleased with yourself. So suave, so <laughs> debonair, so I, continental. Oh, well, I have some gossip. Gossip. Do, 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 do. Speaking of. Gossip on Teletoons. Yes. Hey, stay uh, off that. <laughs> <laughs> How about Eric Clapton? Rolling Stone has a wonderful interview with Mr. Clapton, who is known for not granting interviews. He is quite reticent about his personal and musical history, and it does talk at length about uh, his early years, and one of the most interesting anecdotes, I think, is when he first played with an American blues man. Uh, as you know, he played with the Yardbirds at first, and it goes way back, of course, but he was very interested in the blues, and the Yardbirds were quite uh, smug with themselves. They thought they were playing quite well until they played with uh, Sonny Boy Williamson who uh, assumed that they knew all of his songs and they didn't quite know how to follow along with him. When he got back to the States, he told some of his uh, uh, fellow musicians, you know, uh, I played with some white guys and, uh, who didn't know how to play anything at all. <laughs> That's how he referred to the Yardbirds. Clapton was quite humbled by that whole experience, actually. And I also have some gossip about Marvin Gaye, whose new album has just come out and is now uh, undergoing a lot of criticism because it is quite X-rated and a lot of his friends said that uh, his new album should never have been released. Marvin Gaye would not want it released. So it's interesting to see what uh, posthumous uh, releases do to an artist. And I think we've got a lot of good things coming up, including what? Including a little trip down south of the border and Mexican radio on Teletoons. <laughs>